What's up, YouTube? This is Barnon 11970 Thank you for watching my video. And like I said in my previous video, I would do a silver report today because you know as soon as there's any little dips in silver, you're going to get some of the people out there making videos saying, silver's done, you're going to lose everything, blah, blah, blah. And there will be people that will get scared or second-guess themselves. I'm here to be the voice of reason for those who look towards the future and don't worry about day-to-day -day situations that really don't affect you in the long term unless you decide to panic and sell what you have. Because so many people will say you'll lose everything. Well, let me give you a choice, and you pick which one do you think you would lose more, most likely. Say in one hand, you have a couple of bars of silver or gold. Take your choice. And in this hand, you have several stock certificates. Which one do you think has the greatest chance of you losing the most money? Would it be the physical gold or silver in this hand? Or would it be the paper stocks that you really don't have much control in, where you supposedly own a percentage of a company, corporation, or what have you? Well, if we know anything about stock market crashes and businesses going out of business, if you own stock in a company that is no longer there, well, guess what? You now have a nice piece of paper that you could slice your wrist with. So I understand people will have their emotional roller coasters in life and they'll be at emotional highs and emotional lows. The idea is to keep steady, good times and bad. Not always easy, but you control it and you think more from your head and less from all that emotion, you will actually think clearly. Now, I know gold and silver, you're going to see times where there's going to be pullbacks. This is normal. You're never going to see silver and gold or any other precious metal or any commodity for that matter stay straight across or just go in one direction. See, my cat even agrees. So we don't have to worry about these little pullbacks. And like I've said, the best analogy I always tell people with is think of like a pinball machine. For that ball to move forward, you first have to pull the lever back, let go, and it snaps forward. So right now, unfortunately, due to the manipulation, and I've been saying this for how long now, that as long as they still have the ability to manipulate the market with dumping hundreds, if not billions, well, probably thousands, if not billions, of paper, silver, and gold, they will keep these prices manipulated. We're still in the pulling back phase. Now, if anybody thinks that silver is going to go down to $10, you know, that's wonderful. You could pick a number, and anybody could pick a number. You know, they're going to say, oh, it's going to go down to 17 It's going to go down to $14.38. You know, we don't know. So anybody out there can speculate. So the people that always over the years said about me how I'm guessing about things, well, I try and keep it realistic. I'm not going to be right exactly because I'm not part of the manipulation. But we all know that silver is not dropping to $10, and gold is not dropping to 900 And if they do, people will be buying it like crazy. Now, here's the thing where they get you. They love to lull people to sleep. Now, you see right now the mainstream media, they don't talk about gold and silver. They might talk about it for a couple of seconds. They don't tell you really, even if they do, they don't talk about physical gold and silver. They talk about SLV and GLD. What are they talking about right now? They're talking about the euro, the U.S. dollar, and what's going on in Japan. So there's some currency wars going on right now. So that's the popular topic. And since the majority of people watch the, watch the mainstream media, they're going to believe everything that they're programmed to believe, a.k.a. that's why they watch a television. So right now they're not talking about precious metals. And you'll see how they lull you to sleep. Remember in the summer? How long silver was at 26? And I was telling people you should buy then, but what happened was people got complacent. They saw week after week, turning into months where the price stayed the same, so people just had that laser disc latitude of, oh, I'll sit and wait. And then what happened? Did it go below 26 like so many people were saying it was going to happen? No, it ended up rising. Then you paid more for it. And you'll notice that the average investor, and I made this mistake in the beginning, between 2010 and mid-2011, when the prices were going up, that's when most people start to buy. The trick is, is to buy on the dips. So we should all be grateful that the majority of the world 
is not interested in physical gold and silver. And I actually want to thank the people who discredit gold and silver and the people that convince so many people that silver and gold physically is worthless or not worth having. I thank those people now because you know why? Those are the very people that are helping keep the prices low because so many people are afraid of it that they want to stay away from it. So we're getting it at very discounted prices. And every time there's a dip, there's a sale on something that will not stay that way forever. So you have to see it as this is how the rich get richer. They buy low and they sell high. There were more millionaires that came out of the Great Depression than any other time in history because when all the people were trying to sell all their worthless stock and it finally got down to the point where they lost everything, the wealthy bought in for pennies on the dollar. So the majority of people, once the mainstream media finally programs the public into thinking that gold and silver is worth having, everybody and their grandmother is going to try and acquire it. That means prices will soar and the supply will diminish. Look at the problems the U.S. Mint, for example, has been having recently. And there's less than, well, maybe let's just say an average of 1% of the world investing in physical precious metals. And I've already made other videos, and you could look at them, about how much is produced and how less than 10% of the yearly production of just silver goes to investment purposes. So you're talking 1% of the population using 10% of the yearly production of the world amount of silver. And look what's going on with the prices. They have tried to put thousands, if not billions, of ounces of paper stock SLV and GLD into the market and it's lowered it maybe a dollar, two dollars, maybe three dollars. Now you're seeing an average of what? One percent drops and then they they go back again. So if people want to say it's the destruction, it's not worth the money to buy, thank those people because those people are allowing you to continue to get those cheap prices. So I see it as a wonderful opportunity to continue to buy at cheaper prices because once the mainstream media people program everybody into buying gold and silver you are never going to see these prices again so we are going to see these dips right now there's about a 50 cent dip in silver at 30.89 20 dollar dip in gold at 1646 platinum's down 17 at 16.97 and palladium is actually up six dollars right now currently at 7.59 so again we have to remember this is short term Right now, the euro gained another point. It was at, it did lower a couple of days down to 1.33. It's now at 1.34, and it's just a currency war. They're going back and forth. It's from one sh sinking ship to another. It's just one sinking a little bit faster than the other. But in the end, they will all be underwater. And dollar is not where you want to be. Euro is not where you're going to be. Yen is not the where you want to be. Stocks ultimately are not where you want to be because you will make money now. But the day that you wake up and the system is shut down, everything that you put your money in that you don't physically own will be gone. If you want to take that chance and play the game of Russian roulette, then by all means, please do. But remember, when you play Russian roulette, eventually somebody finds the bullet. I'm not taking that chance. I stick with my gold and silver. I stick with it only physically. I buy at the dips and I wait for the day that they come out where mainstream media tells you, oh, you better start buying gold and physical silver, and then all of a sudden we will watch it skyrocket. So long term, that's all I can say. If you want to get angry at the people, even I did it a while ago, of people that were you know, insulting gold and silver and putting it down and saying it's a bunch of garbage, now I thank you because those people out there make me get it at a discounted price. That won't last forever. All right, guys, so enjoy these dips. Don't let them scare you. Remember why you invest in physical gold and silver. It's for your protection of the future. The future is that way. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.